This is a story of the hare who lost his spectacles. Owl loved to rest quietly whilst no one was watching. Sitting on a fence one day, he was surprised when suddenly a kangaroo ran close by. Now this may not seem strange, but when Al overheard Kangaroo whisper to no one in particular, the hare has lost his spectacles. Well, he began to wonder. Presently, the moon appeared from behind a cloud and there, lying on the grass, was hare. In the stream that flowed by the grass, a newt. And sitting aside a twig of a bush, a bee. Ostensibly motionless, the hare was trembling with excitement, for without his spectacles, he was completely helpless. Where were his spectacles? Could someone have stolen them? Had he mislaid them? What was he to do? B wanted to help, and thinking he had the answer began, You probably ate them, thinking they were a carrot. No, interrupted Al, who was wise. I have good eyesight, insight, and foresight. How could an intelligent hare make such a silly mistake? But all this time, Al had been sitting on the fence, scowling. A kangaroo were hopping mad at this sort of talk, as she thought herself a far superior intelligence to the others. She was their leader, the guru. She had the answer, Hare, you must go in search of the optician. But then she realized that Hare was completely helpless without his spectacles. And so, Kangaroo loudly proclaimed, I can't send Hare in search of anything. You can, Guru, you can, shouted Newt. You can send him with Owl. But Owl had gone to sleep. And Newt knew too much to be stopped by so small a problem. You can take him in your pouch. But alas, Hare was much too big to fit into Kangaroo's pouch. All this time, it had been quite plain to Hare that the others knew nothing about spectacles. And as for all their tempting ideas, well, Hare didn't care. He lost his spectacles, was his own affair. And after all, Hare did have a spare. A pair, a pair, the end.